Remove your milled Javora dental disc from your milling machine. To remove your framework from the Javora disc, you'll need suitable burrs. We suggest these burrs, but please use what you're most suited to. Remove the connection bars with a fine burr. Any closed retention holes can be opened with a fine burr. Use your modelling wax to hold the teeth in situ. The teeth will be veneered later. It's also possible to use acrylic teeth in this case. Apply the transparent silicone directly from the gun to the teeth. The teeth will remain in a perfect position. We use transparent silicone because we're using a light curing system. The silicone will harden within five minutes. Remove the teeth from the framework. After you've removed the teeth from the framework, clean them with a steamer to remove any wax. Firstly, you need to sandblast your framework. We recommend your pressure is set at three bar at a distance of one centimeter. For this case, we're using Rokatec Plus as the adhesive agent. However, other bonding systems can be used. With the framework completed, we now need to sandblast the teeth using aluminum oxide. We recommend your pressure is set at three bar at a distance of one centimeter. With the framework and teeth completed, we can move on to the next stage. With the framework and teeth prepared, you need to apply saline to the framework. The saline used in this case is 3M SB Sil. The full recommended list of systems is displayed at the end of this video. When applying saline, a thin application is recommended. Drying time should be between 5 and 30 minutes maximum. Next, you need to glue the teeth to the transparent silicone. Superglue can be used to attach the teeth to the silicone. Bonding fluid is necessary for the bonding of the composite flow. Place in a light curing unit for three minutes. After three minutes, the inhibition layer will appear. This layer is important for the bonding of the composite. You now need to apply foundation opaque to your framework. When applying, a thin and even application is recommended. After application, place your framework in a light curing unit for three minutes. The wavelength for polymerization is 380 to 450 nanometers. Please inspect and change your light bulbs regularly. After polymerization, a smooth, shiny surface should be achieved. In case of insufficient coverage, please repeat this stage. You'll now need to apply coloured opaque to your framework. Apply the pink coloured opaque thinly and evenly to your framework in two layers. After application, place your framework in a light curing unit for three minutes. After polymerization, a smooth, shiny surface should be achieved. In case of insufficient coverage, please repeat this stage. Before applying your framework back onto the model, apply Vaseline to the model. This is to avoid your framework becoming set on the model. After achieving a smooth, shiny surface throughout your framework, you now need to apply a thin layer of dentin flow to the teeth. Your light curing layer should be 1.5 millimeters. Do not add too much at the same time without light curing, otherwise the composite will not cure completely. This process should be repeated two to three times. The gingiva flow now has to be applied to the buccal side. It's easy to moderate the flow with the injector to the buccal side. Modeling the neck of the tooth can save you time and money, meaning only polishing is necessary. After application, place your framework in a light curing unit do not forget to light cure this layer for a minimum of three minutes. Now you need to apply the air barrier. This is the last layer you'll apply and it removes the layer of inhibition. After application, place your framework in a light curing unit for seven to 10 minutes, depending on the thickness of your layer. The layer can be removed after the final polymerization with rinsing agent.
For pre-polishing treatment, we suggest rubber polishing instruments which are used on ceramic surfaces. For a high gloss finish, we recommend using a diamond polishing paste. Once you're happy with your polishing, your Javora framework is complete and ready to be sent to your dentist. Apply the tooth coloured opaque thinly and evenly in two layers. After application, place your framework in a light curing unit for three minutes. Apply opaque dentin using the spatula method. Do not use any fluid. Apply the dentin using a brush to modify the shape, wetting the brush lightly with composite primer. Once applied, give your framework a brief polymerization. Apply the enamel and modify the final shape with a brush. Once satisfied, give your framework a brief polymerization. Apply the gum flow and model the gum with a brush using composite primer. Once applied, give your framework a brief polymerization. Now you need to apply the air barrier. After application, place your framework in a light curing unit for 7 to 10 minutes, depending on the thickness of your layer. When using Javora, we recommend the following systems. If you have any questions, please contact our technical support team.